Greg Tupper, Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com here at the THSEA Coaching School and Convention. The head coach of the Lumberton Raiders is Coach James Reyes. Coach, how are you? You're doing good. Doing good. Ready for the year to get started. Well, you were obviously ready for the year last year. You take over the job there at Lumberton, take over a program, 2-7, and seven, maybe a little, didn't need a jolt, and bounce them into the playoffs, 6-5 and five a year. What what was the key for last year in that what what turned out to be a really quick kind of turnaround? Yeah, you know uh, when I went in, all uh, you know, like I told you in the in the interview before, we just we got kids to believe in what they were doing mm-hmm. and believing in themselves, and uh, you know the same with our coaches. We did the same way with them, you know, um, just. And it started in off season, you know, just uh, believing in lifts and believing in their running abilities, and and uh, so and then we th- then the summer doing some seven on seven stuff. Early it was rough, um, and we just you know the kids kept getting better and better and better, and uh, you know moved into the season, and you know then we hit a COVID a game, uh, got caught on a Thursday, um, playing Friday, got caught on Thursday, and uh, man I picked up Columbus, uh, who's always a powerhouse. Uh, Matt does a great job over there, and uh, man, I was a little concerned when I when I picked them up. You yeah, know, you should be because <laughs> they're so good every year. And uh, man, we went in there and the kids played. I mean, really, really well. And uh, you know, after that game, I didn't know what we were going to do, but after that game, I thought, man, you know, we got we got something going on here. And uh, you know, it always is great when you got a you know a pretty good quarterback yep. um, and some skilled kids, and then. And, and we were pretty good up front. Um, and same defensively. Coach McDonald did a great job uh, defensively switching from the four-man front to the three-man front. And, uh, oh, man, we, you got to have good kids. And I got good kids. And, uh, you know, that's the thing. And uh, the biggest thing is we just the kids believing in our ability and, and moving forward. Do you feel like that Columbus game was the real turning point in your season? You know, I do. Because when I went in, I told them. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm honest with the kids. I never – uh, sugarcoat anything. I told him, I said, look, we're going in here, and these guys have, you know, gone three and four deep for a long time. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, it's a, one of the story programs, I think, in Texas high school football uh, for years. And uh, and I told him, I said, look, let's go in there and just, uh, you know, play the best of our ability, and uh, we're going to see what happens. And uh, so it, it was, and, and, you know, I, I think it's a three-hour drive from where we were. And, uh you know, we hopped on the, the yellow dogs and and uh, drove down there and, and uh, you know, came away with a win. So now the game changes, though, because, you know, th- there's an argument that you could make that last year you snuck up on people. Right. You know what I mean? Right. You ain't sneak up on anybody this right. year. We right. You got a target on you. So has the conversation in the within the program changed about with, with the expectations? Yes and no. So our expectations, my expectation the whole time has been the same. Yeah. I wasn't going, I'm never going to go into a program saying, you know, if I go two and eight, three and seven, um, you know, with some young kids, it's a good year. I'm always going into every game believing that we can win. Um, and so that's still the expectation uh, going into, you know, the two scrimmages and, and, and uh, just and getting ourselves better for week one. Um, and, you know, we, I, I kind of beefed up the schedule a little bit, you know, minus Columbus. Uh, you know, Brazosport is going to be good again this year. I uh, took them off schedule, but, you know, I've added Nacogdoches, added a Houston-St. Thomas team. I don't know a whole lot about them, but, you know, they've had they had a good year last year and done pretty well. Uh, but open with Hampshire Finette, who, who coach has done a great job mm-hmm. over there. Um, and so the expectations are the same. We're going to go into every game uh, believing we can win. Uh, we didn't lose a whole lot of kids. Uh, so, like you said, people are going to – it's not, you know, Lumberton, hey, we're going in there to beat them. Um, you know, they, they're they going to have to play us and uh, to beat us. And, uh, you know, likewise with everybody else, we're going to have to play. And so um, we're going to go into every game uh, the same way, uh, believe we can win, and uh, hopefully the outcome's great. Do you have a feeling quite yet on how this year's team may be different from last year's team? Um, the biggest thing is uh, a lot of those kids have already played a varsity snap. Yeah. Um, and so they kind of know the expectations and know what's going on for Friday nights. Um, I don't think it's going to be too big for them. Um, going into Lindell playoff game, um, you know, uh, Coach Cochran has done a great job there. Their kids believe in the system and believe in what they're doing. Um, and, you know, the name Lindell in the front of their jerseys, those kids know that, that, that uh, they're going to play hard every snap. And so uh, – um, 
you know, I, that game might have been too big for us at the time. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that way anymore. So what do you know now about this job that maybe if we were talking a year ago that you didn't know? Um, <laughs> that we have kids. Yeah. Um, you know, when I got there, uh, you know, just like any job that um, hasn't won every year, they've won some. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not a consistent winner. Um, it is, for me, is to, is to be a consistent winner. And um, I, I think that, that we have kids. I mean, we do have kids. Uh, we got kids that can run. Uh, we took our four by one to the state track meet this year in 4A. Um, we got strong kids. We got big kids. Um, and so um, we have kids that can play. That's the biggest thing. You know, going into it, the word was we didn't have a whole lot of kids, but we got kids. And uh, so um, that, that, that's probably the biggest difference. Uh, from when I got there uh, to this year is that knowing that we've got kids that can play football. James Reyes, head coach of the Lumberton Raiders. Coach, continued success. Congratulations yes, on a fantastic Thank you guys year. for having me.